Okay, and hello, welcome to Ico. Now, this is the uh, the only Team Ico slash Japan Studio Sony game that I've not played out of the big three that they've released. And it's going to play a little trailer. Let's uh, get back to the start screen. So, yeah, this is going to be a completely blind playthrough. And uh, let's uh, let's just get straight into it.
Okay. So was I dreaming that or did that happen? I think that must have happened. Right, so Ico. This is like one of the, those early PlayStation 2 games that I think it came out in 2001, this game. And this kind of animation that like the boy is uh, doing is uh, it was otherworldly at the time. Like there's nothing like this ever before. Right, so what have I got? I got like a little bit of a shove, a jump. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to figure out all the rest in between. Right, so Team Ico, they went on to make two other games. Uh, they might be still operational. I don't know if that's the way of like terming it. I don't know how Japan does things, whether or not like they like move teams around. But, you know, hopefully, hopefully they have something else. Because it's... Their games are definitely unique. And this is the one that I've not played before. Anyways, a bit of minimalistic storytelling as well, which is nice. You just have to kind of picture it together. So the guy said, don't, don't, uh, hate us for, like, uh, throwing into one of these... <laughs> I don't know what, you, what you'd even call them, like... Children coffins? It seems like they throw children in there. Uh... Yeah, throw the boy with horns in into one of them. It's for the good of the village. Which, which the elder said, I suppose. Who's the elder? If I jump at this, or if I... Uh... Oh, that zooms in. Right, action button is circle. Yeah, so like this was something like the place just one. Could just it just could not do. Just the way he, he's moving around. Like the little stumble when like he hits the ground after the jump. You couldn't get that on PlayStation 1. Alright, I have to hit triangle twice to uh can I jump up here. I can! Right, so I can go across ledges and stuff like that, as long as there's a ledge there. Chain. Ah! <laughs> Drop down. What's this? I'm pretty sure there isn't any health pools or anything like that. Or oh, like there's no health that you can um, upgrade, say, like in Shadow of the Colossus or anything like that. Uh, I wonder. Should I just keep on going forward? I think I should just keep on going forward. Nope. Yes. I thought that was just my death then. Ah! Right, so I've got... Ah! <laughs> I got that. Because is, is, there is going to be a girl at some point. Or maybe it was that, like, dark creature thing. Oh, this is the room that, that uh, Cage was in, right? Then the shadow pulled them into the darkness. I guess <sighs> ambiguity is Team Ico's thing. I guess. There is that end in, in like Shadow of the Colossus. That I won't be talking about until we get to it. Uh
Yeah, for 2001, this was uh, great. I, I missed out on it. I did play thingy majiggies, like the last guardian. And, uh, oh, cutscene. Kid, how are you going to do that? How is he going to do that? I, I'm guessing it's just through here because the window is smashed. I was right in my uh, assumption that the uh, girl was going to be the shadow thing because the shadow thing had a female quality to it and like the shapeliness. I don't know anything about this game, so it's completely blind. I don't know where I'm going half the time. I'm presuming let's go through here. Hopefully I do my best. I recall like what's the same before the cutscene? Oh right, yeah, about cutscenes. I am going to um be quiet during them. Also, I just noticed something that I'm just gonna fix right now. Right, so I'm back. Yep, during cutscenes, I am going to be quiet. I am one for, like, not breaking immersion. And as for the other two Team Icon games that I played, uh, yeah, like, I, I played and finished The Last Guardian when that came out. Uh, I didn't buy it, I just played my brother's copy of it. It's pretty good. It wasn't, like spectacular or anything like that but it was all right i remember one puzzle really like got me stuck for about half an hour which is really stupid and of course yes i played shadow of colossus back in 2005 and it was amazing anyways let's pull this lever Ah, this is going to be the story of boy and girl. Why did the village put boy here? <laughs> for being naughty? For having horns? And why did they trap me up? Why was she in that cage? And why has boy just, you know released girl from cage she might be she might be not what she seems maybe just just maybe how do I climb down things there we go because I was, I was I'm gonna presume that if you just drop you will <laughs> maybe die I don't know if there's a health pool in this game. There's a lot of walking, but that's to be expected from uh, these games. It's quite impressive for the time. Right, where is she? She there. Uh, don't think I've been this way. I'm presuming I have to jump on the cage. I just want to check. Well, in the corners, you know. Okay. Oh, 
Got you. And it disappears. Right, so the village sacrifices kids with horns for some reason, and she is speaking a different language, so she's completely unknown. So if I hit R1, that's the call. If I hold R1, that's the hold. Right, okay. Right. I let go of R1. Yeah. It's okay, I got a stick. <laughs> but don't you worry, girly. I got a stick. <laughs> Uh, let's <laughs> continue on our adventure of escape. I'm going to presume the couch is a safe point. Yes, it is. All right, finish it up. Come on. SSD hard drives from um, the PlayStation 5. I am intrigued <laughs> as to where this goes. Whoa! Now, I don't think there's anything that's conjoining, like, the the main three T-Michael games. But they do make these interesting worlds. of the birds. Right. I 
don't think they can come into the light. They can. Those look like stairs. But what to do with them? <gasps> Explore your surroundings. What's under here? Nothing. Kid is uh, brazen, he just likes to like pull her head. She is my friend. Can't get in there yet. I give up. Let's go back. <laughs> What's this place? Oh, there's a chain. There's a way down, but I think that's just. Oof, I think that's a bad idea. I'm full of bad ideas, so. Uh, Oh, you can actually swing on the, on the chain. I don't know how to jump off the chain. This is one of the things. Right, how f that chain goes pretty far, right? So if I just shimmy and just... There we go. Things that you can do with a stick, huh? Right, so I think the little ones will just, um... They'll, uh... Go into one of them and form a big one, right? I'm not sure on that <laughs> whatsoever, but it's just a presumption I have. What I will say is this game is very loud. I'm going to have to lower down the decibels a bit. Okay. And with this being a blind playthrough, I have absolutely no idea where I'm, I should be going here. All I know is she's here, and she can't actually climb these, I don't think. She 
can't climb them, but can she? Yeah, she can jump. Straight off the edge. <gasps> the brave boy. Uh. Oh, she ain't going that way. Yes, very interesting like art style that they always go for, the Team Ico guys. A flyer, huh? trying to grab her. Take her away for some reason. Why? Oh, there's another one over there. This way. Because I say so. platforms, right? Okay. I understand. So, let's go the other way. Maybe it's more safer. These games are always filled with, like, ancient ruins and stuff like that. You're not going to come down? Seriously? Hey, that was the place that we were before. Neat. Oh, she's coming down. Just slowly. She doesn't have sandals like you do, kid, either. There's nothing there. Uh, further because she's in the way. Okay. <clears throat> My 
my lady. Nope. She's like, you want to kill yourself? Go ahead. To this thing, because she needs to climb up there. Wait a minute. isn't like closed off it looks like I, I look like I could just go through there but apparently not I can I can hit her <laughs> there we go it's fun Yeah, you, you have no idea what I'm saying. Uh, I don't even have an idea where I'm going or why we're here in the first place because it's a Team Ico game. It's also my first time playing it. I wonder why she, well, I wonder why she shook her head the first time. I was like, no. make that <laughs> she can't climb up that really are you serious come up no she can't uh, okay classic team Ico stuff there uh oh she can I was just too close Right, I think I have to find a way for her to get over. Come on. At least there's no stamina, huh? Yes, 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 very interesting, very interesting indeed. Now, let's go and jump on it. Oh god. Very careful. high up here. What am I supposed to do with this? Hit it. No, no, uh, I'm supposed to jump, aren't I? Uh, you know what? I don't rightfully know what I'm supposed to do with that.
Oh, wait. Am I supposed to get her on it? Maybe I am. No, she can't get across here. Oh, can she? I don't think I actually ever tried to see if she can jump. Taller than me, so she should be able to. Girl, can you jump? Can I jump with her? She can jump. Okay, that's pretty fun, wasn't it? Follow me. Hooray, you're on board. Now just stay there. very whimsical, like, kid with his stick. Oh snap, how do I, uh... Circles to drop down, right? Figured it out. Uh, all by myself. <laughs> I don't apologize for belching. Ah! That looks like quite a jump. <gasps> Come on. <laughs> we need to get out of here together. So far, <laughs> all right, multiple, multiple paths left, right, and downwards. Uh, ooh. let's go downwards first. Those bombs? Right. There's a bridge above us. This is just a chasm. More sticks in case I, uh, <laughs> I 
That's a drop. Do I need to get the barrels across or something? Is there anything for the barrels over there? I can't really see too well. With this camera and all. I'm gonna say no. And the multiple sticks is kind of not worrying, but maybe those totally look like bombs to me. Maybe your stick will eventually break after smacking so many shadow people. Ah, where's this go? Oh, 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 this is like the beginning of the game. Ah, oh, I, I like it. I like it a lot. So that was like... It was established that those actually opened doorways and stuff like that, but I found the secret hatch thing over there. We went this way, so it went around in a circle. Nice. Don't have to backtrack. only one way to go and it's through the door across the bridge this girl is like definitely white as well corpse like and here's this boy who's just dragging her along everywhere you stay there, stay. I go. And explore everything in this area. Good thing we can move the camera around, huh? Alright, so why didn't we just go across the bridge? Because it's broke. That's why we didn't go across it. I'm going to say you can't climb down chains. I need it down here. I was one guy down here. I go. Oh. Up we go. Where did, where did she go? Ah, uh, cool. So if I hold down like the hold button. Uh, it will, the camera will pan over to where the girls are. Nice little detail there. I can't jump that distance. I wish I could, but I can't. It, there's probably something to that room. I just don't know it yet. Maybe it has something to do with this. Can I push objects into other rooms? Uh-oh. Why did it stop? Because there's a little ledge there. That's why it stopped. Can't go over that little bump. Great. Right, so the box is confined to this area. Okay. 
Let's have a little look see. Shall we see where we can put the boxy? We can put, put, put it right here and climb up there. Oh, yeah. I need to itch my nose. Ah! Just really quickly. was unintentional. Oh no, 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 Right, I'm going to hit the action button, which is circle. So far, I don't know what to do with that place. Well, that box. I presumed it had something to do with that. Maybe if I had a sword or something. Ah, I see. It will um, lower the drawbridge or something like that. Maybe. Maybe it will, maybe it won't, who knows. There's nothing to do here. Right, okay. <sighs> maybe it has something to do with the other room. Maybe. Just maybe. The world's... The, the, there was those barrels and stuff like that. Okay. Well, maybe... I should be looking at the environment more. And go, hey, I can climb these. This is a uh, bit, bit high up, a bit high up. I have to admit. Uh, is there anything over there? Anything of worth? There is that <laughs> candelabra. Right. The kid has no shadow, so I'm gonna just carefully, carefully <gasps> jump. Yeah, that was smart. That was super smart, kid. I know what I have to do. It involves the bombs. And fire and stick. The fire, the, the Amazon fire stick. Come on, watch this, it'll be cool. How about you get in there? And then watch me. So, just stay there. I'll get one of these that are clearly bombs. I'm 
improve myself. That's what I'm doing. <gasps> this is gonna be good. It's satisfying when you figure it out. And the bombs respawn. Right, nice. Right, so that was my uh, first part of me playing Ico. Uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. It is a completely blind playthrough here. It's my first time playing it. And I do hope you are enjoying, because if you are, please do like and subscribe, and uh, I'll have more ICO to come. Right, okay, so until the next time, bye!